Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and in this one, doing another attack strategy video. Uh, this war didn't have a lot of great stuff coming out of it, but one thing it did have uh, was two awesome dragon attacks at Town Hall 11, and they're not like the mass dragon attacks that you guys have might have seen on this channel in the past. They're kind of a precision dragon attack, is what I call it, where you're using you know only three, four, five dragons, but the main part of the attack is getting the percentage and getting the funnel cleared for the dragons. Dragons are like your closers. They they come in, uh, they take out the town hall. They're not going to get you a whole lot of percentage. Uh, they're not going to do much besides that town hall. So the, the job of all your other troops is to both create the funnel and get the percentage. And that's pretty much how it goes for most town hall 11 two-star attempts. If you're using Valks, which is the other common strategy, I guess bowlers are also somewhat common. But Valks is a similar situation where you're... Uh, clearing out a funnel, typically with like a queen walk or the king and some bowlers, like a CC4 bowlers or something, and then you're sending your Valks in, not for percentage, but just for a dive for the town hall, and uh, the funnel has to be created well. But the, the, you use dragons over Valks, um, and you use precision dragons specifically over Valks, uh, when there's not a whole lot of air coverage, there's no air defenses by the town hall, that's extremely important. There can't be any air defenses covering the town hall, at least ones that won't go down. If you can take it out, I guess it's okay. But no uh, air defenses that'll be up as your dragons come in. Just in general, not a whole lot of air targeting stuff. Expos on ground is typically better, ground only. And also the funneling can be a little bit easier because dragons don't have to worry about walls. So we'll take a look at two attacks today. Both are very different um, in how they set up the dragons, but they have the common uh, the common part of the attack at the end where the dragons are sent in for that final push for the town hall. I think both use a rage to help those dragons along. So anyway, starting with Felicity Smoke, uh, dropping down the queen for a queen walk. I think five healers, which is typically going to be what you want to do. Uh, I mean, if one healer goes down to a seeking air mine or an air defense, you typically want to have that backup healer, especially at Town Hall 11 with all those maxed point damage, defenses doing so much damage. Uh, so the queen makes her way in here, has that first rage to keep her up, and just walking her in, taking out a part of the base. I mean, it is kind of predict hard to predict which way she'll go at this point, and... I know he wants her to get that air defense taken out, but I guess he just hopes she'll pinball enough to eventually get the air defense. From there, I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot which way she goes, but luckily she does at least get that air defense. He does lose, I think, two healers in the process, so he's down to, I think that's three healers, yeah. Uh, right there, boom. Th or no, never mind. He got lucky right there, the air... The, uh, or maybe he did lose a healer. Okay, never mind. Guess he's down to three healers, but not as much point damage as he moves through the base here. The sweeper uh, pushing the healers back a little bit. Here's a few bowlers and the king to kind of you know continue the job on the on this side here, kind of meeting up with the queen. And it doesn't. You don't have to use really the. You don't have to leave breadcrumbs. I guess is the analogy. You don't have to leave a trail to lead the the uh, dragons into the base necessarily because if you clear out enough of the base they can target directly onto one of those uh, buildings in the core in this case I think the eagle artillery is what they'll actually target uh, you can see the queen doesn't take out the eagle if it's three tiles between the eagle and the wall uh, any other building I think the queen can reach but the eagle for whatever reason uh, isn't as big um, for a four tile uh, building as other things are it doesn't expand far enough out on that far tile so the queen can't reach it keep that in mind when you're planning an attack the queen can't reach that eagle over the three tile gap so here comes the dragons has the max one in the cc which is a good idea because you can bring two levels up that level six dragon uh, that's definitely something that you want on your side it's pretty powerful um, so anyway comes in there or actually one level up you can get level five at town hall 10 but anyway comes in and the rage is going to be very helpful you can see he doesn't get much more percentage because there's a lot of high hp there's a still a relatively high amount of damage with those expos and the inferno towers so the dragons don't have a whole lot of time but typically they'll get the town hall they might get you like 10 percent um, which can add on to hopefully the 40 plus percent you already have with your kill squad but don't depend on them for a lot of percentage a good idea right there brings a few archers and minions typically you want to drop those at the beginning of the attack but if the eagle goes down it doesn't really matter as long as you have time the only worry is if the eagle's still up it can take out anything on the map so your archers and your minions won't be effective at the end of the attack if the eagle's still up but uh, moving along 
This attack I really liked. Very interesting kind of opener, but it's a weird base. It's one of these like kind of a southern teaser base. Not really. It's just a an oddly laid out base. So we have JC doing a another precision dragon attack, but has all these baby dragons as the support troop, which is really interesting. It's almost a complete air attack, but it's not really spam. It's uh, it's more of just doing a very carefully uh, developed plan throughout the uh, the three minutes that he has. Drops down the queen to just get a few buildings there, um, a few baby dragons, a few balloons to make their way in there. These archer towers are pretty unprotected. The expos aren't going to be an issue. Um, the air defenses, he used the zap quake and the other two away at the top. So not a whole lot of air coverage, even though this base is pretty well upgraded. Gets the sea sealer, I guess just the important stuff. There might have been a Valk in there too, but he didn't want to lure that out. So, yeah, that actually worked out great because there probably was like a Valk or something. But remember, the Valk won't come out unless a ground troop triggers it. And if you're not sending any ground troops into the base, there's no point luring it out. So it just uses a few balloons and uh, baby dragons to get in there, get the sea sealer, takes it out with a few more baby dragons. Then just starts dropping them around the outside of the base. The baby dragons do a good job tanking for the balloons. And that way, if the balloons die, then the baby dragons get that health boost again. Uh, so that kind of works out well. They work together in a team very nicely. So it gets a bunch of these perimeter defenses taken out. You can see how quickly this base has diminished to basically just like a shell around the town hall. Those cannons can't do anything against his air troops. So um, actually, by the way, JC not using his king in this attack either. I think it was kind of a farming war, so he was able to... Uh, or, uh, not a farming war, a less competitive war. So he was able to let his king stay down, I guess, unless he forgot it. I don't know the full story, but anyway, uh, sends those baby dragons in. Right now, he's just getting, getting that funnel taken care of. Unfortunately, that storage doesn't quite go down, so he has to drop the dragon on it, but luckily, it'll kind of um, bounce off the storage into the middle of the base there to that uh, wizard tower. Actually, that one t chases the king, it looks like, but the CC dragon, which is the important one, one of his own dragons and the baby dragon actually all target that town hall, and you can see it goes down pretty quickly under the rage. They do quite a bit of damage, so awesome attack, real nice setup and finish there. Very methodical, a uh, nice attack to JC, and uh, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Just a quick one, but I was kind of working with what I had here. So um, some great wars just coming up. I think uh, Immoral Thieves is in a random matchup against One Hive. Then they have a CWL matchup right after that. Um, Genesis has one where in prep day against DX or DLX, Dark Leaders X. So a bunch of great wars. You guys should see that over the next few days through live action, attack strategies, some defensive videos, all that good stuff. So we'll be looking for that, and I'll see you guys then. Bye, Sectatron out.